fans, I'm Melissa Cito from the PPR, and I'm here with... Coach Turner. Coach Turner. Coach Richard. <laughs> All right. So a lot of these guys grew up here, they played through the program, and now they've come back and coach. Can you tell me what that experience is like for you? It's been awesome. Uh, I started this program in 1994. My stepdad started coaching here, and then my older brother, Coach Turner, started here in 95, 95. as a freshman, and then uh, I've been involved in this program ever since. I played here from 2000 to 2004, and I've been coaching here since 2006 until now. So it's been a wonderful experience, uh, the best school to be at. All right, now here at Chula Vista, you guys are really known for your sparring family. What does that mean to you guys? How do you guys really take that and you really value it? Well, it means a lot. I grew up here with my brothers watching them play, running around on the sideline. And it's, it's just a rich culture and tradition and family. And they've been with me through the ups and the downs, you know. And so I really appreciated that and I can take that with me for the rest of my life. So everyone's here has been in the community for a while. We've, you guys have all played through Pop Warner, some of you guys on the same teams some of you guys on different teams, but with the late passing of Coach Rod, can you guys just tell me pretty much how he was and how he impacted your guys' lives? Yeah, uh, my Uncle Roddy was, uh, he was a special type of guy. Um, he led his life uh, leading leading by example. He, he coached football for, for over 20 years. He coached at IB, coached the Chiefs. Um, he, had, he, had a, he had a strong influence over us. And, and our coaching careers and, and uh, what he did around the community meant a lot to us and a lot to our family. Uh, he was always here at the Spartan game supporting us, whether we were playing or coaching. Uh, you know, he was always right in the back of the end zone. He'd like to hang out and, and catch us at halftime and give us some words as we walked into the locker room. That was kind of his thing. But, uh, you know, he was influential around the, around the community, like I said, and he, he was a special type of guy. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and speaking with you. us. I'm Melissa Cito from the PPR.